back, guys. We're down to the last game of the day already. We've had some quick games today, Karn, and we saw a brute yep. mother in the last game. How about that? Yeah, man. Like, it's been a long time, and it was completely ignored previous game. Now they're going to think about it. They're gonna, I think they'll probably ban this one out unless they have a, a better plan for it, because I think it was a big lineup problem for yeah, MVP. They, yeah, that's why it was a really, really good last pick. They had nothing to deal with her. Nothing at all. Like, Absolutely nothing, and, and it, it showed in game that Brew Mother completely dominated the bottom lane the whole game long, putting so much pressure, giving a hundred million percent uh, free farm to the yeah. void, to everyone else in yeah. every other lane. And uh, we'll have to see this game if they are they gonna are they gonna first ban it? I don't think so because uh, you first picking Brew Mother is very bad. Yeah. If you pick the right heroes, uh, the hero get, does it, nothing. Yeah, but it would get hard counted, no doubt about that. And we but saw Tinker Tide banned out again. Yep. But they gotta be careful. They're just gonna think about it. They gotta be like, all right, we, if we get heroes that same kind of lineup that cannot deal with her, then no, we gotta ban her. Yeah. Otherwise, they're gonna pick it again and they're gonna roll us. Yeah, maybe like the third or fourth ban. They okay, want to get rid of that. Maybe that or last ban because she even yeah. the, the third, fourth pick, uh, you can still counter it with one last ban. Mm. The last pick, I mean. Yeah, that is true. But uh, yeah. It is, it's just going to be something that MVP has to think about and mm -hmm. put so much pressure on them. Especially, like, they got they got rolled, man. They got they got so rolled. I've not seen Hot 6 roll like that in a long time. Uh, just one hero. That's that's all. Just one hero can do it. If you, if you go for that kind of lineup, it's kind of a gimmicky kind of style going for five range like that. Very unusual and orthodox. It's not really gimmicky. They had the... Well, hard countered their, their pick was, hard. was fine. It was just that Brute Mother, man. That's all. Yeah. Brute Mother, well, he's been here in CM for like a couple days now. So yeah, it's, it's very, very all. new hero to Captain's mode. So Yeah, and uh, when he was in CM before, it was different. It was not, it was not really the same. He yeah. could not just, yeah. just like just walk around. From everything. Yeah, yeah, when the trees go out of the map, and oh, okay, Hot Six are all right. All right, Hot Six are a little bit of better of a lineup already. Elder Titan as well. As a death prophet, I don't think they'll be going. Uh, well, not Brute Mother is out of the question. Out of the question. <laughs> like because Elder would just ruin that. Yeah, and DP too. They are, they already with these two heroes, they can deal with Brute Mother pretty easily. Yeah, and much easier at least. This is like much more standard Hot Six style. Less, less of a five range lineup. More of a just a back to the basics, back to the the strong meta. Mm. As we are, played the Void last game. Did a lot of great work. Got picked out a few times up top. Yeah, he didn't have to do much to like Chris, he, he didn't uh, really have to do much. He he had all the space he needed to get where he wanted to go, and from there it was a pretty easy game. Uh, the way they got they got their Jakiro first pick, very strong. So I think this like this here should be like it was a time he kind of MVP Phoenix started playing playing him, and then other teams started catching up on catching up on that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like these days, uh, it's like kind of third pick, fourth pick usually. But I think it's, it's first pick worth it, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a great pick. And we see uh, Puck getting picked again. Yeah, from Rave. Oh, no, actually that was Hot 6. Really. Hot 6 picked it out last time, yeah. Didn't find really much answer with the Puck like, up against the Broodmother, but this game should be a little bit different. Yep, no Broodmother. No Broodmother. Well, at least, uh, can Hot 6 pick it? Yeah. Oh, yeah let me show you. Yeah. I, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The previous, previous game, there was only one clear, clear wave. Only one hero could uh, uh, clear the creeps and the spider link, so... Uh, and it was... If you have two of them, yeah. then it's fine. Yeah. Uh, only one, so like, all right. Like, and it doesn't even do, it, do the best job of it, so... Yeah, very, very slow, sort of nuke. But anyway. Anyway. The uh, picks and bands going a little bit slower this time. Yep. I uh, can't really tell what the plan is yet. Um, we got another Titan, so at least uh, I don't think Rave is going to go for any kind of Agi carry if his other Titan destroys them. That is very, very true. Yeah, well said. Um, Rochi played the Invoker last game. I had, a pretty hard, I had a rough time. Yeah, not the best game. Not the best Invoker we've seen. Not going for the... Uh, yeah, he went for the... Exhort. I think it was, uh, I think it was uh, fine. It was a good choice. It was good considering the lineup for sure. Just they couldn't make it work because they just had no space. Brood Mother just won yeah, an entire lane and jungle. Jungle, yeah. Jungle plus bottom lane was Brood Mother's. Kind of sick. 
Uh, uh, band again. The Rave is the exact same band as last game. So yeah, yeah. Then Tinker tied Skyrath. I think the last, the other band was. What was it? I, I can't remember. It. Um, we'll see. We'll see. It probably will be the same anyway. Yeah, I think I think they just bend the something that I like about how Rave drafts. They always bend the same stuff. They don't always always. It think, seems like they're the very prepared against specific teams like this. And they're like, well, we'll ban out these guys every game because yeah, we don't we've, we've practiced against this sort of style. Yeah. Doom ban. No. Okay. Not much, more, much, much to say about it. I guess uh, you kind of can kind of tell uh, what Hatik is about. He's gonna pick later. Hmm. Uh, so Doom is not that great against that Prophet, unless you can Doom her before uh, she gets your first <laughs> single. It's, uh, you can't bank on that, so... Yeah. And first kind of variation from the, the bands of Rave. They hit banned out the, uh, the Faces Void. So not gonna go for it this game. Yep. And Sunbee. I kinda think he kinda... Messed up too against uh, the Blue Mother. He could have he could have been been playing more aggressively. He was a little bit too scared. He played a little bit too passively. He was a little bit too scared. Mm -hmm. Like Puck can, you know, he would not die. And I, I think he even got killed, right? Yeah. Um, I think he got killed. Yeah, he got killed once. For the I, I remember seeing Dubu getting uh, first blooded by the Spiderlings. Ah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, those yeah. were first blood. For the, he almost died. I think he got zoned out. Yeah, he did get zoned out a lot. That's yeah. for sure. There's Ninja Boogie, aka NB, played the Witch Doctor last game. Picking his face. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about the draft and Medusa Band. Uh, okay, Medusa Band. We rarely get to see Medusa. That's a, that's a rare pick. Uh, I think uh, Puck and Medusa are together are pretty strong. Uh, you. Dream, Dream Coil, yeah, they, can't, they can't run away, they just, they just split shot everybody. And yeah. They can't even, even if they choose to fire the Stone Gaze and they can't fire them. That's a good point, that's actually a really cool combo. And maybe, uh, I guess that's exactly what they were thinking. Yeah, maybe, and, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the, uh, Rave runs it a little bit, I think. So. And it's a strong hero, I think, this patch too, so anyway. If you, wanna, if you don't have the right hero to deal with her, like, you need a lot of damage. Mm. So thank you. And the, uh, she does a lot of damage too. Yeah, once you got that farm. Ooh, Shadow Demon. Okay, we haven't seen this support in quite a while. It kind of came out of fashion, actually. Yeah, like, it, they might get... I mean, usually when you have Shadow Demon, uh, like, maybe they can get the Luna. It's like, really, that was a while ago. Like, people get, like, Luna, Shadow Demon, the Siege with the Illusions, with Disruption. Man, that uh, was a while ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. I'm trying to think, like, what else... Like, like, Allo Titan might be, usually these days we see him as a support, but uh, it's pretty weak with the Shadow Demon. Like, maybe we can set up the stun, but like, eh, it's like whatever. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking it's probably an off lane, off lane uh, yeah. Allo Titan. Maybe you're gonna try for a Potom next or something? Yeah, maybe a Potom, maybe a Dazzle too. Works really well. Yeah, Dazzle is good. Dazzle is pretty good, and he's gonna be very good with Deadpool. I think Dazzle is pretty good here. Dazzle is fine here, I think. Uh, not a bad, not a bad. It's gonna choice. make their roaming like not as strong as. Uh, well, if I have a Mirana, it's much easier to roam and get kills. Hmm. But uh, Dazzle is an option. If they have this, they're gonna have like disruption to save the dead prophet. They're gonna have uh, Shadow Grave. Yeah. So and she most likely gonna get a Okay, uh, they go for the Mirana. All right, Mar Mirana no is. Oh, and a Lycan. Are we gonna see Jo? Play yeah. the Lycan again? Yep. It's been a while. It seems so. It has been a while. Right. And uh, are they going to lane in against that prop? But, uh, I mean, they could actually. Ly Ly I think Lycan does fine against that prop. Yeah. Lycan does pretty well against... In 1v1, like once you get the level 3 wolves, like you can just bully the whoever you're lane laning against with the wolves. And if they don't have uh, strong right pick damage, they, like, they cannot deal with it. Uh, you need the uh, wolves are basically immune to spells. Uh, you don't use spells on these wolves. It's a waste of mana. So they, you cannot really get rid of them easily. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out the <laughs> out I, once no, again. not again. I don't think they'd be picking it this time around. I like how they ban out the Weaver as well, just uh, stopping any sort of offensive try from happening, which could do a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, we're to run the Lycan on the safe lane. Then. Still waiting for that position one for Hot Six. Could be Murano. We still, we still don't it know. It could be. Thing. It could be. Yeah, you're right. Murano could be the care, but uh, I don't think they run it. Yeah, actually, I think they run it. Two times yeah, before. I think they have run it in the boss. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we got to see. That's the thing with MVP's picks. Like they don't doesn't tell much. Could be a Titan support, could be a Mirana support, could be Titan up lane, Mirana carry, we don't know. And then, okay, so it is going to be the Mirana position one here. Yeah, so. Very good Magi. Oh, oh, Phoenix. Oh, and a Phoenix. Oh, they're these like, guys are crazy. They're, they're just picking all the new Captain Moon heroes. <laughs> one a game, you know, just experimenting a little bit. You know. Well, and I think it's actually, this is a, this is very good because. This is, this is very interesting. He's going to put, like, MVP Hot Six such a, like, uh, more pressure. Level. All right, we, we we kicked your ass with the uh, with brute mother. Now we're gonna do it with Phoenix. Yeah, you're gonna be oh, this no, is it's like, gonna happen again. This is like hardcore uh, demoralization, man. Yeah, like two is like, oh. it's like I I can't believe they they just chose the Phoenix. And these guys are like, yep, chrissy has been cracking all the unorthodox heroes. <laughs> and here we go. Game is loading, guys. This is the final match of the day in tier one. Ray versus Hot Six. Has loaded. Here we go. Alrighty, five man, hot six, uh, MVP. Yep, going to their own jungle. Maybe super defensive again. Chrissy. Yeah, the Chrissy get out of our the Phoenix. Already got the the, the ward done. Ah, oh, this side, this side. They're gonna do ward. Yeah. The very nice head. It's gonna be a pretty tough lane for Phoenix. Oh, is that a mean Murano? A what? I don't know, never mind. But Raji is on the Mirana, so that's kind of surprising. Uh, yeah. And there is Chrissy. We haven't seen Phoenix in uh, KDL before either, so we're seeing all the new things today. Broodmother and well, Phoenix. He just got added to uh, CM. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Same with uh, with Ilden, man. First day of KDL with the uh, Broodmother and Phoenix in, and we see them. We see them, man. Yeah, I, I want to see Terrorblade next. Well, I mean, we've seen a lot of that before. Yeah, I guess we have. We've seen all the new stuff before anybody else, man. <laughs> yep, that's right. Breaking the meta here. Ninja Boogie. It was ruinous. Very dangerous. Ruin of Invis. They, don't, they didn't see it, did they? Uh, no, I think it's not. They see it in the world, though. They, they, know there is, they know there is a word here. Yeah. I uh, guess so. They missed the. Uh, they thought it was gonna be a lane ward. Uh, interesting. But all right. Still, it's gonna be a very, very hard lane for the Phoenix to find anything in. Yeah, because they have. They've got the reliable stun. Yeah, they got they disruption. They got arrow, and then they got the Ogre Major to follow up with fire blast. So like, yeah. just about no chance of surviving if you get caught out, unless you're under the tower. But. Here we go. Yeah, Jube has been careful. He knows something's going on. Jube knows something is fishy. He's gonna play safe for now until he sees the bench somewhere on the map. And then, yeah. let's show. Puck uh, taking a good lead. CS because of that. Yep. Applying pressure. Six losses already to the zero of that probably finding one finally. So looking good for mid. Very early times there. I'm getting a good look at this mid fight here while everything else goes on. No, nothing else is really happening in either of the lane. I think maybe bottom lane would be the most interesting to look at considering. Well, there's a Phoenix. So there's a Phoenix. And okay. it's it's against a tri lane, defensive try, so. But it's just like. Oh, don't want to get disrupted out there. Okay. Getting zoned out. He's still in skill anything, so he's waiting to see what he needs. And level 2 is going to get the dive and the. Uh, I don't even know the name of the fireballs. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I should never play Phoenix. I played it once, so I was like, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's never really been a hero to learn uh, because it's, yeah, it's exactly. never, it's it's never in yeah. captain's mood. Yeah. That's why I always hate people uh, picking this in pubs. Like, I'm trying to practice and you're picking this hero that we can't even play in CM. I'm like, oh, god damn uh, it. Yeah, yeah, it, it really... It's a waste of, waste of time, waste of practice, but... It is a waste of time. I mean, eventually it pays off because they, they, they get added eventually. They did a couple days ago and now we, we're here. Yep. With the... Fire spirits, there you go. Fire spirits. Icarus dive, yeah. fire spirits. Is it beam? Sunray. Sunray, yes. And Supernova. There you go. <laughs> Teaching you dirt at Karn. <laughs> Actually, when I first stopped Dota 1, there was no Phoenix in the game. So, what, Did they add Phoenix to Dota 1 eventually? Yeah, it was. Well, it's from Dota 1, yeah. Okay. But uh, I stopped playing Dota 1, I think, before. You, right when you got out of the... Yeah, something like this, I think. Mm, yeah, I, 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 was, I was not there for... Uh, for the Phoenix and Dota 1 either. Yeah, so I only played like Dota 1 for uh, for fun when I wasn't playing Warcraft 3. Melee. No? That's what everybody was doing. Man. It was the, the Warcraft 3 mode to play. It was it was the uh, the mod that killed Warcraft 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like a kind of... Uh, I guess... In it's okay, you made peace with the with Dota. I, I made I made peace with Dota. That was a great dodge by the way. Crypto yeah. not doing any damage to Rior. Yeah, I, I gotta say I love Dota now. It was a great game. Uh, and I mean looking at the, the last hits, Lycan as well as Puck doing some pretty good work. Winning their lanes. Hide really? for uh for last hits. And uh oh, Chrissy finally caught out this horrible oh, lane, gets the first blood. Nuts! Picking it up. At least it wasn't Marana, right? I, I think it's maxing Iro, which is good because they have a, a lot of ways to ensure that he gets uh, he gets uh, he gets it. So yeah. maxing Iro is better. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, this is save mana. Guaranteed kills. Mm. It does a ton of damage when you get it uh, long range. It does actually. I think uh, damage per mana is much much better for the arrow on the arrow. Mm. It's like uh, 360 damage, I think, uh, max. On the arrow, maybe 380, huge. something like this. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty much guaranteed it's going to hit with the amount of stuns they have. Yeah, they have uh, yeah. disruption, and fire blast, yeah. echo stomp potentially later. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, this time, Chrissy not taking over the game. He's, he's yeah, well, I didn't see. I didn't see how a Phoenix could really come into that game compared to what a Brood Mother could do. Yeah, it's just very annoying to farm uh, with the if you can hit with the fire spirits yeah uh, but usually in one v one he does very well but in this case like they have a lot of ways to stop him and uh, to kill him without giving him a chance yeah. nice little harass there as well yeah you can just hide in trees and just spam spam this maybe try to farm with it do a little bit of damage oh yeah, you got both with this yeah see chris has been practicing these areas man he's he's uh wanted to play the weird stuff. <laughs> Got to be careful though because he can get caught out so easily. Yeah, um, top, a lot of pressure. Uh, Jakiro, like him, they're gonna get a ton of tower. Actually, we haven't talked about oh, this. But yeah, we haven't. We haven't really seen top tower. Uh, sort of top link much. Yeah, but he's gonna, he's gonna easiest win. tower ever. I mean, there's simply no way they're gonna stop yeah, that. Like, like in Jakiro, like, they're gonna have MVP hot six. I don't think they're gonna be able to defend the towers too. Oh, it's not oh really hold it's on, Zombie really caught out here. He He's so tanky though. Nice uh, body, body block. block. Oh, oh, nice cast. Cleans it up. Yeah, very nicely done. Ninja BB. Yeah, great rotation there. He makes a good. He makes for a very good support. Oh, did, did. They were really aggressively on Chrissy there, trying to get a kill on him again. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard. I mean, he's yeah, in the Phoenix trees, is pretty good at getting away, especially. With, uh, and it's gonna be a tier two, man. They're trying to pressure the tier one, but. Oh. Yeah, Ray is faster at not only getting the tier one, but they're almost getting the tier two. Liquid as fire well. and wolves, man, it's so much damage. And we already seen Ninja Boogie kind of lining up for something else here. Nice echo stun, kind of clears up everything. But tower is already down to 400 HP. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, map control loss for MVP. Hmm. Ninja Boogie. 
Maybe they have, they have the Dream Call and uh, the Pops, so maybe they can try to get a, get a kill on the... Yep. Oh! Well, that's a big difference. stun. Double stun. Down he goes again. Such an easy pick up. Very, very hard lane for Phoenix. They might regret this pick. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's not many of the, the problem with Phoenix, again, like, you cannot catch up in the jungle. You cannot jungle. So. You cannot jungle. But, I mean, I, I guess when he's level 6... He's only level 3 too. Like. Yeah, like he's once he's got his ulti, he'll, he'll still be useful in fights, team fights and stuff. Yeah, he's also his risk. Oh, another pick up here. He's not getting away from this. And, oh man. He didn't even have the dive ready, so... Oh, this is, this is getting horrible for Chrissy. Completely yeah. opposite to the last game. He just wanted to get his level 4, he couldn't even get him. He didn't want to die before he got one to work with XP. No, how ruthless is that? Oh. That'd be tough. Yeah, be really, really tough. Uh, there's like the problem. With Phoenix he has like no recovery mechanism. He cannot recover from a bad early game. Yeah. All he can do is like at least the thing is like his team is doing well. Yeah, I mean Jo complete control of his lane. He he's gonna have a medallion pretty soon, and then he's gonna probably try for early Roshan. With Jakiro they can do it uh, both together uh, pretty easily. Yeah. Liquid Fire uh, slows down Roshan attack speed, so does uh, Dual Breath, so... Yeah, it's gonna make things very, very easy here. I should be good. <laughs> it's like you have a minus attack speed draft, man. The, <laughs> the Fire Spirits and the Liquid, yeah, liquid that is Fire, true. Dual Just Breath, you don't attack, man. Big combination here. But man, that uh, Phoenix not having a good time. Chrissy, gotta be very, very defensive here. It's gotta find exactly where the... Where he, the Ogre is especially, I think. He died more than Creeps died from him. Uh, he has like three last hits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, died, he died three times. That's true, same. that's true. The creeps have a better score against him. <laughs> now Rear almost has his dagger. Mm. Medallion online as well, so he can make for that rush at any time. Yeah, I think he's gonna... Uh, what level is... Jay was actually has a ton of farm, man. Uh, 71 last hit, like 9 million mark. Yeah, well, that's a, ton. that's a free farm and a tower right there. A free farm, a tower, and it's farm with jungle too. One thing that's good to do with Lycan too when your wolves are strong enough is like you can farm both the jungle and the lane at the same time. Yeah. You go to the jungle, say, keep your wolves on the lane and farm it, farm it this way. Easy peasy. And yeah, dagger on the on puck. So they're gonna make stuff happen now. Mm. Titan too uh, had a decent time on the offering. Yeah. Much, 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 much better than Chrissy, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, like an level is, yeah, so he can rush on whenever he wants to. Mm. Level 5 now. He's trying to slow down this push in the tower, it's nearly going down at this point. Yeah, Miranda doesn't have damage, he's gonna at least force a glyph. And yeah. Chrissy, yeah. Making a rotation here. Yeah, smoked off the four. Three, actually. Yeah, down goes this tower. No, no, no doubt about that. He's gonna be careful. Not gonna be looking for that stun. Uh, he really wanted to deny, but like, not stun. So. Oh. He's died enough. I don't think he can afford this. <laughs> this point. Maybe two, 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 one for two, two, and maybe for free, and maybe for jail. Yeah. yeah. Farm adds up even more. Yeah, like ten minute march, like over eighty last hits, two towers. Things He's gonna uh, be going better. Yeah. Oh, big rotation there, Chrissy. Gotta be so careful. Looking for that disruption set up here. Yeah, Chris is careful. He's like, uh, died now. He just wants the XP, man. He's yeah. not even trying to get the yeah. lessons. Arrow whiffs. I wonder if he yeah, even they saw that. They can't kill him now. Yeah. They need the arrow for this. Oh, yeah. Now it's mid time. They're just gonna keep doing this, man. Pushing together with Akira and Daikon. They can do it. Yeah, why not? Try every lane. Kind of get that momentum going. Go for just every tower, get that huge gold lead, which Jay already has. Nice Echo Stomp. You also see drums on Marana now. Lift activated, but yeah, this tower is going to be down for sure. Well, previous game it was Chrissy making space for everybody, now it's everybody making space for Chrissy. <laughs> that is true. You know, looking for something here. Echo Stomp whiffs. Arrow oh, hits. Arrow hits. But can the fall? Ninja Boogie in a bit of trouble. Nice Ice Path. Trying to keep him alive here, but a lot of damage coming in. Nuts trying to look for the finishing blow, but he might actually pay the price. Same time, we see Jo going real deep, takes down the Shadow Demon. Nice path again. Looks like he's just going to miss out nuts, here. Nuts, nuts is going to die, I think. 
You think? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Oh wow, very nice there. I mean, and Shadow De I, I think Venge died from the poison from Shadow Demon. No, uh, Venge. Uh, yeah, I think she died from. Shadow yeah, Demon maybe poison. you're right. Yeah. Huh? Nice exchange there. For uh, for Rave. Yeah, two for one. Two supports for one support. Well, Jabe managed to get a turn. Okay, to get something. All right, they get, get a little something, something back. Feeling a little bit better about things, but you know, Jo still at any point you go for Roshan. What did he? What did he buy? Okay, Treads. Mm. Yeah, he still doesn't care about Roshan too much. Maybe he's, maybe he's gonna get it after the tier one bottom. Yeah, quite possibly. Maybe a little bit more map control because yeah. I mean it is the obvious thing, especially when they they see him having him. A medallion already. Yeah, medallion and the lads. Super obvious. The dire. Uh, yeah, it's a lichen, di dire lichen, so. It's, a, it's kind of a given he's going to try at some point. It's just yeah. about do they have the uh, the vision there to stop it? Uh, triple stack in here. Yeah, before uh, that profit. Mm. Alright, it's uh, Chrissy's level 6. Finally. Time to. Some supernova action. Yeah, see some supernova. If they can find anyone though, they do find. You gotta get the stack instead. The stacking. Oh man. Five spirit's gonna do a lot of damage as well as Puck. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Wow, yeah. that is a lot of gold stolen. Very, very nice there. Nice rotation. Doesn't mind a kill, but I think that would that probably paid off even more. No, yeah, it's kind of it's all right. It's a lot of uh, farm denied for the death card. Yeah. Works both ways. Denies gold as well as you making a lot of gold. Yule's now online for death profit as well. A lot more survivability now. So he begins the final tier one assault on the bottom. Yeah, oh, cast. Ooh, cast completely caught out. Oh, got so much damage to do. Yeah, he got dropped, man. Yeah. Both teams kind of just really aggressively pushing at this point. Both have like a pretty good lineup actually for this kind of thing. Alright, the exorcism committed to this. But the thing is like, uh, Rave doesn't need to use any cooldowns to get the tower. They're gonna use an exorcism, they're probably only gonna get a tier 1. Yeah, by lots of things here. And Lycan keeps pushing bottom, and if they want, as soon as exorcism is down again, uh, they can just go for a tier 2, go for Roshan. If they go for Roshan, there's no way Hot 6 can contest. Yeah. J.O. there. We get it top. Push out this lane again from anything else. Oh, Ooh, nice engagement here. Huge stun lock. J.O. is so tacky, but still not enough for three heroes. Same time, Chrissy wants to try and turn things around. TP out. Oh, Ice Path just a second too late. That was a nice uh, fake uh, back out from the uh, yeah. like, All right, I'm, I'm going back. J.O. is like, oh, I'm going to farm, but nope. They are ready, actually. It was a bait. It was a brilliant bait. All this juicy farm. Oh, they can they see it? No, oh, they can't. Another smoke. Another bench. Maybe they're gonna smoke to Russian or something. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yules. Oh, nice oh beautiful arrow timing there. And cast goes down again for free. Yeah. Getting really free. caught out. Getting free for the Raji and his Murana. Yeah. He's Hot like uh, almost tied with Lycan in net worth, man. Yeah, wow, that's actually really impressive. Considering how much farming and free farming. Okay, he went for that. I like that build. I think it's the best build on Murano. Uh, I've talked about it a lot yeah, with uh, some other players. Yeah, and I feel like Treads uh, to Maelstrom is the best. Yeah, uh, yeah Treads, Drums, I feel like uh, Maelstrom. So you just uh, you have a steady build up. You know? And you can keep being active because you should, with Murano, you should always, you shouldn't be an FK farmer, you should be fighting a lot. Yeah, you got such a great mechanic to help you guarantee kills here. Oh, J.O. Uh-oh. J.O.'s going to get shut down here. No escape. There's so much stun going on. Yeah, it is. It's Activates his wall player. Yeah. Oh, can't get out of here. He's going to try and turn it around, actually. No, he's, he's, gonna gonna farm, go, he's just going to go back to farm. He's like, okay. Yeah, the wolves bug the area. They, they cannot really... There's no way they can put him down. Yeah. And the wolves still bullying Roger. Yeah, but he should keep the pressure up. Uh, try to get some kills. Like, this is a wasted smoke, so it's 
Wasted smoke, wasted time, Roger not farming, doing all this. You know, wasted rotation. JR just only getting bigger here. Nico and Nomaton level one. Moonlight Shadow rotation. Up bottom, but I don't think they're gonna find anyone. Yeah, nobody nobody wants to come here. But uh, now he showed he showed the uh, Moonlight Shadow so he's gonna hide. It's either gathering uh, behind the tier two mid. Yeah, they know wait. exactly what's going on at this point. Alright, let's wait it out. Yeah. Not take risks. Jo though, in the jungle. They're for mid, maybe they're gonna smoke. Yeah. They jump guys are smoke, so they might Yeah, they're smoking. Smoke time, who's he gonna catch? I think it maybe a Titan no, a little Titan is Oh he has a mech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they have the they have a oh. Oh here we go here. Yules. Jubi has been caught out, but oh he sounds up and he's and still Nova. He should be able to survive here. Supernova's gonna hit. Uh, boom! Days. Huge, huge stun there. Yeah, and still no exorcism used. Still no exorcism used. He's been he's been CC quite a amount, but he's he's just not going down. He's still winning the fight. Like yeah, they got two. Oh man, things are going absolutely horribly. Yeah, we see two for one so far. Ogre Major just went down, and they're gonna break off. And what a weird fight! Yeah, the, the Fury are just killing supports like nuts, dying to uh, the wolves. Yeah, that uh, was really strange. Now they're gonna rush on. Just gonna rush from it. Like, well, we threw away two, but let's rush on, right? Yeah, and they're still exorcism, so they can contest it if they want. They didn't even. It's actually really surprising they did so well in this fight. Rio now has engaged on Dubu here. Shuts him down completely. Very nice. Orbs down. Gonna help out Ja with the Roshan. Look, Look at that really damage! Good. Wow, we are taking the uh, taking the hit here. Wolves gonna do so much to Roger there. He's gonna have to get out of here. Uh, if Lycan, he has ulti. Oh. Okay, he's dead. Oh, he gets out just. He's gonna be dead, Roger. He's gonna die by the wolves. But meanwhile, Jubia trying to get the get Chrissy. Yes, he's oh, gonna get Chrissy. it. Oh, Chrissy, maybe not. Out. And whoa, actually, we didn't see Puck. Oh, Puck survived. Sorry, Murano went down. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the wolves were chasing. He ulted just for that. Get whatever else I can. Yeah. But yeah. No, like I'm pulling ahead, getting the Rushan, getting a few kills, not dying. And they're not making like these, these exorcism. They're not getting them anything. They got a that was couple a, tier ones. Yeah, that these. was that was a worthless uh, exorcism. I think you should have used it in the previous fight. And tried to get more. Yeah. But it would have definitely stopped the uh, the Rushan at the very least. Mm. Yeah, already right, Necro 3 on J.O. Wow. Very fast Necro 3. Yeah, and I think they're just gonna push, man. Like, they don't have any... They don't have... They can put a lot of pressure, like, right now. Especially there's no Eurocism ready. They have the Necro 3. Don't they could just gather and get a tier 2. Yeah. Uh, they have yeah. the Aegis too, so... Early. They're in a pretty good position now. Yeah, they're in a very, very strong position to team fight, that's for sure. Only two tier 2s remain. Four hot six. Yeah. Rio keeps farming their jungle too. It's not. I mean, they, they don't have any hero that can jungle too much. Oh, uh oh. You know, oh, oh, okay, got the silence. Got the silence. I don't think it's gonna be enough there. You're just gonna let it go. Dream coil online as well. Could look for something if they rotate down. Jubei going for. Mm. What do you think he'd be going for next? Oh, wait, does he have. Uh, he has a. We tie to Booster and an Ogre Axe, right? He could be going a uh, route of Atos, I guess. Or he could be going. Yeah, that could be. BKB, BKB is possible too. I mean, looking at the lineup from Rave. I think he just got the value. We tie to Booster for now. He can get a heart later and he's gonna get his BKB. Yeah. He just wants to tank up. Joe just hang it out. Jay just doing what he does. Uh, they're gonna go for the church mid, I guess. Looks like it. You're seeing mech. Uh, so Phoenix is the mech carrier, but man, is it a slow mech. Yeah, he had a horrible game, so. He had a nightmare of a game. He's almost there, there. Yeah, like 350 goals, I think. And yeah, I think Jubei is gonna go for a BKB. Before, uh, well, oh, can he? J.O. caught out here. Yeah, the wolves again. He can just block the air with the wolves, so he's yeah. never gonna get one. Yeah. J.O. should survive. Oh, nope. But uh, he loses his Aegis. Yeah, poison. That's poison. Yeah, so nice little pick off there. Gonna slow down any sort of push. Yeah, he kind of wasted Aegis. He didn't use his ulti because he was like, I don't want to waste it. Mm. 
I'm gonna keep it for later, but he wasted the Aegis instead, so. Rio <laughs> has his heels of his own now. It's gonna be pretty hard to kill. Yeah. Yeah, Ur Urgur, Club, Vitality Booster. Yeah, the like heart later. I'm gonna be too good. And you know, despite the score in the game, you uh, still see a, a lot of map control from Rave at this point, especially with uh, yeah, with Puck just farming their jungle. Yeah, he's always in there, so and he's gonna deny some farm from Jubei too. Mm. Like they, I think they have a ward that's blocking the big camp uh, in the Radiant jungle. So yeah, it looks like it for sure. So Hot Six is playing very defensively at this yeah, point. Yeah, playing really, really passively, and uh, it's not gonna work in their favor, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the later it gets, the better for Rave it's going to be. Yeah, they got Avenge. Avenge is a very good support late game because uh, of the swap bait out uh, carrier because of the aura too that gives you so much damage. Yeah, and we almost see uh, BKB online for the Lycan as well. JX free farming wherever he wants at this point. And there's the mechanism for Mindless. Phoenix. Very, very late, but better late than never, I guess. Are you gonna go for the 2 2 bottom or is it just rear? Okay, it seems like. Oh, you're gonna try to get. Oh, it's like 5 man smoke. 5 man rotation up to nothing. No yeah, way. Yeah, because everybody's jungle. bottom. They, they yeah. can't even trade. I mean, maybe they can trade with the Exhaustion if they realize fast enough. Yeah, maybe. But it's unlikely. Everyone's waiting here except Chrissy. Chrissy cannot be caught out. That would That's be a solo puck pushing bottom, man. Yeah. They probably, they probably should know that they're. they're they're, they're around bottom. Yeah, everyone is missing at this point. Yeah, and there's a solo pod pushing the 2 2. Yeah, usually the team is here. You must be very, very paranoid. Like, when are they coming? And how so they, they want to trade, but they, they're not. Like, look at the speed at which they're pushing, man. They're going to be at the tier 3 by the time this tier 2 top goes down. And Raji is pushing the 2, so at least they got pressure on they got that. Lanes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Jube doesn't want to use Exorcism, which is the right choice. You don't want to blow an Exorcism to. Get, well, the enemy team that like, has nothing doesn't even fight there. They, they gotta make them at least fight with it. Oh, nice ice pass there. Roji caught out, taking a lot of damage here. He should get out alive. Oh, the Phoenix oh, moves. Sorry. This should be enough. Very, very nicely from Chrissy. Finally, getting some work done on the Phoenix. Yeah. Hasn't done, like, he's been a non factor actually this whole game. Yeah. Huh? When you lose a lane that badly, I, I guess you have, it's pretty difficult. Yeah. Oh, Rio going for Agonims. I like that. Yeah, nice. I agree. Well, especially against Murata. If she le if, even if she gets Koi and she leaps, for example, this is... Uh, with Agonims, I think it's 4.5 sec four, uh, seconds stun. Oh, man, that is huge. It is huge. You cannot. You just have to stay in there. You just got to take the hits. And, I mean, when you got a Lycan... Bearing down on you. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna lost like two seconds anyway. Yeah, Puck. Uh, oh, be no. Nice pick up on the nuts here, and with Puck, it should be a guaranteed kill. Oh, everyone's joining in. We are gonna clean it up there. Eight to nine now. Rave finding some kills. Yeah, finally, some more action. The game has been pretty passive for now. It's been a bit of a slow one, this one. Yeah, like, uh, Rave is not under any pressure. I think the pressure is on Hot 6, if anything. Yeah. Um, They're even though they still, like, in, I think the late mid to late game, uh, Rave is going to be advantage, but I think the oh. ultra late game, I'll give it Hot 6 the advantage. Feels activated. We got, we got J.O. up against 4 here. Nice defensive disruption. And they should be able to still get him down. They know which one it is. Yeah, Mech for Sunbeam him. Sunbeam coming in as well to help clean things up. Oh, J.O. finishes it off. And should get out alive completely fine. Jubei. That's a pretty important pickoff, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, they got him like, doing nothing. Just use a big KB charge. And they couldn't even save him. Yeah, they could. With the mech disruption, it didn't matter. Nothing could save him from J.O. at this point. As Mirana too gets killed in the meantime middle. It's time to get that last tier two tower in mid. Yeah, it really looks like MVP Hazik doesn't really know what they should be doing. Yeah, the style against that Rave is doing is just I don't know, they they got map control again, they got a, a good lineup once again and I feel like position one Mirana is just not a good pick against the Lycan like this. 
Yeah, she she doesn't put any tr threat to anybody. She's not a threat to anybody actually on Rave's side. Yeah. She did well, well on the lane, like Rana allows you to win the lane, but then you gotta do something with it. They tried to do something with it, but it failed once. They, or two or two. they pretty much could have done what they've been doing with the, with the support, Murano. Mm, like, they yeah, could have just been guaranteeing, like, kills. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, she needed to do. Uh, yeah, I guess so. They could have, like, maybe had something else, something else in position one, maybe something yeah, a bit clinks. more late game. Clinks, for example. Clinks, like, you Wraith King for like hair, like, that would be great. <laughs> oh. I would like Wraith King in this sort of situation. Actually, against uh, Phoenix, Nyx is very good. But uh, I mean, Nyx. Phoenix, Nyx is good against Phoenix, and it's pretty this. Nah, actually, against Lycan, it depends. Yeah. Uh, nah, but like these days, actually, we haven't seen any Nyx for a very long time. Yeah, it's very, very rare. I, I believe we saw a Cory go once. Yeah, last time I think. No, maybe not the last game. Maybe the previous game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, saw one, but from Zephyr. Yep. Been some time. Yeah, I kind of miss Nyx, man. Nyx is great fun. I'm playing against him as well. But, uh, Drums now in the Vengeance. So Vengeance finding a little bit of farm here. Getting some utility. Oh, uh, Murano going for BKB. Or is that some Sanjin Nasha? Might be Sanjin Nasha? Mm. Uh, probably BKB because of the security potential initiation and uh, Dream uh, Core. Uh, Dream Core, I think. Yeah, so. I, think, I think she definitely needs to But the a thing is, like, even if she gets. That's the problem with Murano if you're first into a BKB. Like you need big, big items before you get the BKB. Otherwise, you get a BKB. What are you gonna do? Like you're just gonna do people? Damage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like still, Black is gonna chase you down regardless. Like, yeah. well, look at the damage. Whoa, <laughs> that was like that was literally four seconds for Sean, man. Yeah, I felt like he was attacking like an ancient or something. Like super easy. Jay was found his farm. Look at the net worth on him. He's eight thousand ahead of Death Prophet. He was the top four hot six. Things are not looking too good. Yeah. Rave might actually be getting that two-way victory that you predicted, Karn. Yeah. Dutchin K go lead for, uh, for Rave at this point. Yeah. Uh, Rod of Atos. It's rough. Oh, Dutchin K. Uh, I, th I think about Dutchin K. Anyway. Yeah, almost AC actually. He's, uh, very close. Yeah, he just needs a hyperstorm. Like 1100 volts before he gets it, and I think then it's going to be good time. I think they're just waiting for the AC. And uh, with the Aegis, they're going to push high yep. ground. So, we're going to see a four man rotation here. Going to create a little bit more space for Lycan, but I mean, look how defensive Hot 6 are. Yeah, right they're now. in their base, man. They're in their base. They're like not even leaving to try and creep. They're actually terrified right now. Man, what a rough game for these guys. <laughs> Wolf just casually running the base. Wolf's like, yeah, all right, this, they're all there. <laughs> just so you guys know, like, I scattered everything by myself. We should get a lot of ATOS. Mm -hmm. Helps uh, landing the fire spirits. Yeah, that is true. Just another thing to help uh, the Lycan get his right clicks in as well, I guess. Here, just casually farming everything, just waiting for the uh, hot six is just waiting essentially. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, they're just waiting for uh, this, the, this inevitable. You know, they're in a very, very bad position, and probably just waiting for Rave to try to, to overextend. And then maybe if they get some kills, like against uh, that Prophet, as soon as he gets tanky enough, but against this Lycan, such a so farmed. Uh, it's gonna be difficult for that Prophet to ever be relevant, actually. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, okay, he has his AC. And it's gonna be good time now. Should be good time considering he has the Adegas. Go down mid, Jakiro. Yeah. is in the jungle though, and Puck's bottom. We're gonna wait, we gotta have to wait for them. Yeah, I and mean. And he has the Aghanims too. Pushing up every single lane. And yeah, it's just a matter of time at this point. J.O. might wanna come from the top. Yeah, I wanna push all the lanes to get me machine this way. Maybe they can pick where they want to go. All the Titan gonna slow things down, that's for sure. Maybe a stomp, Astral Spirit. Yeah, they have a pretty good high ground defense. All the Titan and Death Prophet. But I mean, thinking of the late game, I didn't know really where they go. Even if they defend, it's like, well, yeah. still Rafe has complete map control, complete free farm. 
and the liking is only going to get bigger. Yeah, you can just stalk them out. I mean, in the ultra, ultra lead game, if, when Murana gets a lot of items, then yeah, they, they might have something to work with, but it takes a long time for Murana to fully uh, get online. Nice oh, stun there on Jeyu. I mean, it all doesn't matter if he has an Aegis for at least a time longer, but he doesn't want to throw it away. He's taking a lot of two damage, you know? So, like, they, I don't think they want to just waste the Aegis like this, though. So. Might want to heal up first. Yeah. Maybe just they'll, they'll just hang on to it for now and just find more farm. Either way, it's all just looking so great for Rave right now. Yeah. Mirana got her BKB. That's gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna allow her maybe not to die. It's basically just an item is gonna allow her to escape. Oh, oh. Aaron Chrissy. And nice stun on Chrissy here, but they can't really follow it up. Yeah, when you get like it was like a four second error, I think, but she can do anything with it. Like it's not to up top. Look at this man. Oh, wow. Had to activate BKB. Just gonna go straight in here. And J.O. just right clicks him down. Supernova in the middle of things here. Defensive disruption is kind of probably going to mean the end of him because Supernova, oh, just misses. And they're going to go for the first tier three here. While it's happening, nice swap from Ninja Boogie, saving Chrissy here. But at the cost of his own life, as well as a nice ice path. They triggered uh, Exorcism, so it means yeah, gives him a timing right. to come back in. Yeah, so he's going to fight some time for the Mirana, but again, Mirana such a non-factor at this point. Yeah, he just... He got blown up. No, simply yeah, no like uh, his BKB doesn't he doesn't even do anything because uh, Aghanim's Dream Call just goes through it. So very very easy. And here we go again. J at full HP. No ulti for a little bit longer. Make that five seconds. Actually, maybe not. I think it was a supernova. Maybe I so. Oh yeah. I'm not sure exactly because uh, I, I never built Aghanim's Hot Star. Not exactly sure if it goes through magic immunity when you get it. Uh, it either that or supernova. Supernova definitely does. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. Jo, rotating bottom. Looks like he's gonna push this one up. Yep. Has his ulti online as well, so he can just dive for another kill essentially with BKB. And everybody, and a lot of people have buybacks. Mirana does not have buyback. Yep, no buyback from Runner. The other cross though, the Lycan has it, but that profit. So, Murana can go. Oh, here we go, and Sunbeam up top doing a lot of damage as well. Runner already taking a bit of damage. Yeah, sorry, half HP, so she has to go back and heal. Yeah, while this is all happening, Lycan pushing down mid. Yep. And, oh, th that tier 3 is almost gone as well. Same time, see a lot of harassment on that mid tier 3. And here we go again. Mirana is getting blown up here. Defensive disruption here. Is he going to be able to get here? Leaps away. What else? Doesn't matter. There's a Lycan on your tail with ulti on. And he's right clicking down Dubo at this point as well. Wow. Three hits is all it takes to take him down. And we're going to see a Rax at the very least. Possibly GG. Buybacks though. On the Shadow Demon yeah. and Magi. And finally Exorcism is back. But they're going to use it now. I don't think they're, oh, they're going to use it actually. Chrissy's got to get away. But down goes Jakira. And yeah, they they activate it, but they're gonna get supports here. Yeah, they get two kills for this, and they defend. They, they hold. I think they already three defended though. All right, they get three kills, but they had already defended the uh, the push, and they maybe could have used exorcism for something else. I just want to make sure. Okay, we get the let's get the kill. Let's go. It's just like they save the, them down. They save the racks. The very yeah, least. they save the racks. They get three kills. Only problem, like the heroes that matter, like and Punk, they're both. They, they're both completely fine. And they're just getting sick bank. I mean, over 4k at this point for J.O. Yeah, they could go for a heart. Uh, help Siege him a lot. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I think it's going to be. Most probably I think heart would be a great great choice. Yeah, heart think, or uh, we sold it. I think we just saw him pick up the. Uh, the Reaver. Ah, uh, the Reaver at the. Yeah. Super chop. Yeah. chop. So yeah, uh, hearts on uh, Jubei too. Nice. But yeah, he has the Reaver coming, I think. Yeah. Too. Then he's just simply going to be unkillable at this point. Yeah, they already don't have enough damage. I mean, that probably always does a lot of damage, but she cannot do it all by her, by herself. Yeah. 
Rana needs another good 25 minutes before she is actually a threat. Yeah, and a lot of farming in those 25 minutes as well. Yeah. Here we go again. Uga Magi caught out here. There's simply no way Nuss is going to get out of this one. Sunbeam doing some sick damage as well. Chrissy takes the kill. Some time they were looking for... Uh, whoever was up top. I think it was Rana at this point for a second there. And Lycan is already pushing the... Clearing the creep wave there. Mrana has a nothing since last time. <laughs> had to, had to, uh, I don't think she got back, right? Maybe she, no, she didn't die back. She didn't have a buyback anyway. So. Yeah, I don't think so. And now, once again. And there's no exhaustion for 20 seconds, but there is a glyph, so they can buy enough time, especially with the Elder Titan. Mm. And with the exhaustion, they, they, they can defend. Yeah. Rave is probably gonna need the Nidus before they can press the issue, like force, force the issue. Still at 3k HP, and we just saw, whoa! Marana as well as Major, I blown up already, super innovative with, uh, sorry, to zone everyone else out. Right. And that was Jubei going down as well. Jubei can't buy back either, we're gonna see at least two racks go down, I feel. No, you see your whole base die. I mean, you can see, see the base get blown up. Dubu trying to survive here, he's getting right back down by Chrissy alone. Chris, you gotta be careful as well. Oh, he might go down. No, he gets away. Not no, he does not. Icarus flight, not enough. So he doesn't matter. Two days down, three days down. Three yeah, three racks be. going to go down. We could very well see game at this point. Still 45 seconds left on the Death Prophet. 20 on Marana here. Only supports and offlaner trying to zone everyone out. Echo Stomp does a little bit of work. But, I mean, just 15 more seconds and we see Lycan come back with his ulti and kill everyone. Yeah. And uh, BKB and those racks. They want to kill the racks though. They want Mega Creeps. They want to see GG and they want to go home and have some nice dinner. Yeah, celebrate. Celebrate. Oh, nice little P save there on Pug. Oh, he's going to get out. Yes, he is. Oh. Yeah, the, the, tree jukes. the jukes. The oh, jukes. They, they didn't get the racks though. Oh. Okay, alright. But I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's just, just gonna send some wolves and necro books and get it yeah. free. Yeah, there is something no way. <laughs> oh, no! That was the last thing they wanted. He's not even gonna wait for the full health. He's health. like, whatever, man, I don't have time like, for this. It's like, I didn't even need it, guys. Like, I don't know what you're He doesn't even about. need the. the Aegis just said everything's gonna be. Uh, she's gonna be for fuck and they're gonna go back to the bottom or something. Yeah, I guess. Sunbeam healing people up. And yeah, this is it. This is it, the final defense for Hot Six. If Rave wins this, which they almost 100% will, they will be in first place for the end of this season, actually. And they'll be in their first finals. And that is nuts. Uh, That's okay. a cool statue, actually. Yeah, you can, uh, since the last, uh, last update, well, <laughs> fine <laughs> kick. What? That's so funny. <laughs> we just go into this now. We know the yeah, game is over. It's time yeah, to look yeah. at the cool statues. Yeah. For the ones who got the companion for this uh, year's international. Oh, right, right, right. Hey, the swap on. Uh, here we go. JR. Ulti activated here. Dreamfoil online. Jubei. First target. Uh, can he survive oh, okay, here? Okay, so yeah, right. The, the, the uh, dream call actually works. Yeah, dream call does so work. Actually. Like it, waiting, and they get Jubei from here. Everyone else is going to get essentially cleaned up. And down goes the final barracks, and the rest of this game. GG called by Jubei and by everyone else, and very, very well played to rave. Yeah, pulling up some uh, new, new uh, last picks. Every game? Yeah. Every game, man. Showing some pretty sweet style here. I'm, I'm loving the new heroes. Yeah, uh, Bruma just stomped first, and then it was pretty much just run out. Of, it was like, pretty, yeah, it was pretty much just uh, Lycan stealing the show. Yeah. Uh, Lycan had a ton of farm early game. It, was, it got out of control pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah, insane. Well, yeah, congrats to Rave. And uh, like 5 1 now. 5 1. Very, very dominant performance. 네, 완벽한 경기로 시즌 4 패턴트레이드를 완벽하게 마무리 지은 레이브 선수 그리고 끝까지 최선을 다해준 MVP 하식스 선수들에게 여러분 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 레이브는 이렇게 해서 5승 1패로 KD 시즌 4의 패턴트레이드를 마무리 지었습니다. 네, 선수들 무대 위로 오실게요.
수고하셨습니다. 축하드립니다. 여러분 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 축하드립니다. 아, 호원 장담하셨던 대로 오늘 완벽하게 2연승으로 또 마무리를 지으셨어요. 소감이 어떠세요? 네, 당연히 이대영이라고 이길 거라 생각해서 오늘 별로 그런 거 없어요. 아, 편안한 표정으로 경기를 감상하고 계시더라고요. 네, 네. 오늘 레이브의 경기력만큼 돋보였던 게 사실 크리시가 했던 두 영웅이에요. 네. 환호성이 터져 나왔는데 픽하는 순간 특히 이 경기의 거미 여왕. 네, 네, 네. 아, 정말 사실 캡틴 모드 풀리고 나서 해외 리그에서도 아직까지 잘 쓰이지 않는 영웅이었거든요. 네, 그렇죠. 네, 크리시 선수한테 묻고 싶어요. 거미 여왕을 특별히 플레이한 이유가 있을까요? 에이. 크리시 선수가 부끄러움이 많대요. He just counter pick them. 알죠. 네. 그냥 카운터 픽이라고. 아, 그냥 뭐 새로운 영웅이어서라기보다 그냥 그 조합에 맞는 영웅이어서 선택을 네, 하셨거든요. 상대방 조합상 네. 죽이, 죽일 수 있는 영웅이 없었거든요. 거미를 그래가지고 네, 그래갖고 뽑게 된것 같아요. 정말 거미 여왕의 일 경기를 제대로. 운영했다라고 해도 과언이 아닐 정도로 일경기는 사실 거미 여왕의 판이었어요. 네. 네. 우리나라 한국 여자들 소수도 거미 여왕을 거의 장인처럼 플레이하시거든요. 네네네. 네, 네. 오늘 굉장히 반가웠을 것 같아요. 크리시의 거미 여왕이 네. 유저들에게 팁 하나를 주자면 뭐가 있을까요? 자, 네, 네. 네. 선수들끼리 이미. <웃음> 그냥 배 하라는데요. 아 크면 답이 없으니까 차라리 못할 거면 배을 해라. 네, 네 짧지만 강한 조언. 네, 네 멋졌습니다. 이 경기 같은 경우는 사실 또 불사조를 처음으로 KDL에서 네. 선보이셨어요. 네. 근데 MVP 하식스 선수들이 거미왕에게 아주 질려서 그런지 초반부터 불사조를 굉장히 견제하더라고요. 네, 그렇죠. 아쉬웠을 네. 것 같아요. 네. 조합상 되게 많이 죽을 것 같아서 아직 뽑아 안 되는데 그러고 있었는데 이제 뽑아가지고 네. 애들이 너무 자신감이 넘쳐가지고 그랬던 것 같아요. 뭐 특별히 걱정하거나 그러진 않으셨어요? 네, 그냥 이길 거라 생각했어요. 한 번도 안 져가지고 하식스한테 네. 그냥 애들도 더 자신감 있고 편안한 마음으로 해서 네. 어제도 애들 술 먹었거든요. 아. 근데 사실 이런 권평 매니저 그리고 레이브 선수들의 편안한 표정을 네 번째 시즌만에 처음 봅니다. 네. 그만큼 KDL에서의 첫 결승 진출 뜨끗하실 네. 것 같은데 네, 네, 네. 어, 이제는 아, 이겨야겠다라는 마음보다 이렇게 즐기고 또 본인들이 준비한 카드를 보여주고 싶다라는 마음이 더클것 같아요. 네. 개인적으로 결승전에서 만나고 싶은 상대가 있으신가요? 아무래도 저희가 다 2대0을 이겼는데 포커페이스한테만 한판 졌잖아요. 그래가지고 네, 되도록이면 포커페이스 만나고 싶어요. 아 포커페이스를 만나서 서력을 네, 항상 졌어가지고 네. 그 팀만 만나면 은 시즌 1부터 시즌 2부터 저희가 티어 1에 올라오고 나서 항상 상대로 만나면 저희가 항상 힘들어했거든요. 그래가지고 네, 결승전에서 만났으면 좋겠어요. 네. 결승전까지 사실 아직 시간이 좀 남아있어요. 그만큼 준비할 시간도 많고 또 여러 가지 카드를 또 이렇게 모을 정리할 시간도 많으신데 어떻게 시간을 보내실 건가요? 아 저희가 26일 날 필리핀으로 가요. 네네. 그 MPJL이라고 대회가 있어가지고 그래갖고 아마 저희들도 아마, 저희들도 아마 생각하는 게 대회가 가장 큰 연습이라고 생각을 해요 네. 항상. 그래서 네, 그냥 대회에 치중하는 게 만들 것 같아요. 네, 남은 시간도 레이브, 레이브의 색깔다운 멋진 연습으로 또 결승전에서 또 멋진 경기 기대하겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 여러분 레이브 선수들에게 다시 한번 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 이렇게 해서 KDL 시즌4 5주차 경기 결과 티어2에서는 몽키 스패너가 티어1에서는 레이브가 2연승으로 페넌트 레이스를 마무리 지었습니다. 끝으로 여러분께 이번 주 퀴즈를 드리겠습니다. 오늘의 문제는 m v p 6와 레이브의 경기에서 KDL 최초로 선보인 두 영웅은 무엇일까요? 정답을 아시는 분은 스포티비 게임즈 공식 페이스북에 댓글을 남겨주시면 정답자의 한해 저희가 추첨을 통해 문화상품권과 영화 예매권을 드리도록 하겠습니다. 극강의 한타 KDL 시즌4 그럼 저희는 11월 30일 오후 
일요일 오후 1시 30분 티어2의 제퍼와 포타2 티어1의 MVP 피닉스와 포커페이스의 경기로 다시 찾아뵙겠습니다. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next week for the final week of the round robin of season four. Yeah, see you next week.